Hey guys, Colby here. Welcome back to another free-to-play video, right? We're gonna go and have a look at what is happening on the free-to-play because I got a big things to show you. Some awakenings I, I put on my uh, champions and then we'll probably do a shard pull, one shard pull, and I'll show you guys my teams and, and the updates I've done. I think I've done a solid progression to the account, honestly, in... 38 days of playing, right? 38 days of playing. I think I'm doing much, much better than I did last time in terms of the champions that I have. Of course, I don't know. Uh, the drops could have been better, but I, I am getting some good epics. That's what I'm loving. I'm, I'm getting some good epics that I never thought I would use before. Like I got this rock breaker. He's going to be useful for different things. I'm not sure about progression, Anywhere in, in like a four star, five star, he needs to be kind of six star to be really tanky. And the biggest problem in the game right now is skill books. Okay, skill books is, are really hard to get. Like, I, I would love to get all my epics skilled up, but it's just very hard to get them. Even though we do get tournaments in the game all the time, that some of them have rewards, like this dragon tournament has a reward right at the end. This is like 3,000 energy worth of points. It's a lot of farming. Although, yeah, I, I agree. You know, dragon farming, it's it's good. It's good to do, but it's a lot. It's a lot of farming. And um, yeah, for me, I didn't find it that valuable to spend all my energy and my gems that I've been saving up, which I'm probably going to use for mastery farming. Although mastery farming is not, again, not always the best thing to do. Um, this, this might be an easy skill book to get, you know, um, there's some things I'm trying to get, some things I don't really try to get that hard, like this fragment event, like to get this champion, it, it wasn't really possible. The way that I was just abusing all the, the shards that I was getting, just immediately opening them, it's not possible for, uh, you know, a free to play. Oh, I get 300 coins there. And uh, do I get anything here? Some gems. All right. So what I wanted to do, guys, is I'll probably probably buy look at this there's a void chart i can buy from the shop so this is because the clan i'm in is actually um, level 10 or something so this is actually a very expensive thing because on tuesday so two days from now if the energy pops up again i'm gonna be in a bad position losing basically a thousand energy but i want to gamble it because there we go 900 uh, because i want some void champions that are good namely cold heart or man eater or Demetha or Painkeeper even. Painkeeper would be nice. But there's many, many voids that are useful here. Should I wait for the 2x? A 2x is gonna be like what two weeks from now? I'm not really gonna save one void for that. But um yeah, let's just open this and see what we get. This is the shard pool I, I mentioned, guys. I knew, I knew. <laughs> I knew this was going to be a bad one. Oh my god. Decreased term meter. AOE with decreased accuracy, which isn't really helpful. Extra turn. 35% chance. Basically a chicken is, is what she is. Basically a chicken. Although if I went for Mikage, you know, she would be useful there. But uh, yeah, not really. Not really. Man, that, that kind of sucks. Um, I could have waited tomorrow for the Banner Lords, but it doesn't, doesn't matter. So... I've got some rewards here from Clan Boss, Brutal Boss here. Uh, I do get the final chest, but the Clan I'm in cannot beat it. So that's kind of sad. And I got a 5-star accuracy chest, right? And then the Master chest here. Although I do get two of them, it's, it's not the best one because it's 4-star gear. It's a Defense Legendary Immortal. It's 4-star though. But anyway, come on, give me, give me a shard and a 5-star uh weapon all right that's that's okay it's not the best but it's, it's okay um let me show you guys what i've got in terms of awakenings i got your eggs one star from the shop earlier today like a couple of hours ago got, got it from here it was for seven of these coins and uh, now i'm saving 20 hopefully hoping for hoping for um a soul for <laughs> for Avalos. Like I, I have in my mind, like imagine, imagine if I ever got a six star awakening on Rathalos on the free to play, that would be amazing. But then I was thinking, wait, what would I choose if I ever got a six star 
um, blessing for Athalos on a free-to-play. Because there's Brimstone that you don't need accuracy for, right? It's a protected one as well that would help with Sand Devil pro progression. No, not extremely, but it would help a little bit. It would help everywhere else just having that Brimstone. Um, and I was thinking, but wait, if you get a six star, isn't uh, Cruelty better? No, uh, what's it called? Uh, crushing Rend better? Not Cruelty. Crushing rent, isn't it better? Also, cruelty would be very nice for everybody, reducing defense on, on everybody. But, you know, that's just dreaming, okay? That's just dreaming. Because the chances to get one specific champion you want, the six star from a mortal soul stone, is like, what, 7.5% chance, then times that by 0.75%. It's just extremely low, plus multiply that by the champion that you want, even if it's an 8x, which basically is zero. <laughs> It's it's very low. So anyway, let's open this. Maybe I'll get something from my other wish list. Get an epic? Maybe, maybe, maybe. No, Ambassador Lethalin. Don't have him. Got so many souls here, but not for the ones I want. So let me show you how that works. How that blessing works. I've managed to beat. I've managed to beat Fire Knight, guys. Fire Knight 16. Six minutes 50. I know. Um, the way that this works is, uh, basically Jereg puts up the shield and. Because of his defense up, if you have it at the right time with the boss, if it's tuned correctly, I'll be able to basically take down the uh, take down the shields on the boss. Now, with did I try this with Mordecai? I can't remember. I think I did, but my Mordecai is is kind of low in accuracy. Kind of low in accuracy. Not gonna run a super raid. Let's run a normal one and just see on how slow it is on the boss the waves are fast because you can see here we're doing some solid damage i ideally you know what i should have put a, a custom ai here where my direct doesn't use his a2 but whatever i need my reviver here my rector draft because she is key in terms of keeping somebody alive so how do you progress in these dungeons Especially for newer players, when I do coachings and stuff, when I, I talk to people who are just starting out, need, they need, need some tips in order to improve their account or their progression of feeling they're stuck. It's, it's basically get more level 60s and start gearing everybody correctly. You, you got to have a plan when you're gearing a champion. You cannot just go in there and just throw whatever you have. You might think it's a good item. Many items in the game are misleading and... You got to have a goal. Okay, I'm, I'm building my attacker. I need to build him with attack speed boots as an example, just to get, um, not, not attack speed, um, attack percentage boots, just to get that extra attack. Um, if you don't want that, you build them with speed, right? Speed. Speed is important, especially if you are very low on speed on your other items. If you're very low on speed on your other items, you're going to go with speed boots on the majority of your heroes. And... You have to try and get, you know, crit rate, speed, or attack percent on everything else, especially for your damage dealer. So here we reach the boss, right? This is the defense up that I have. The bad thing is it's not speed tuned, so my champions do take their turns. And if they take their turns, they lose out on the buffs. But here they didn't lose them, and then immediately the shield drops to five, three, and then uh, Apothecary is actually very fast with a Relentless. So sometimes he gets like double procs. He does a speed up plus an attack. So here what I'm trying to do is just chip away slowly on the boss. And Mordecai is actually quite strong here because of the HP burn. Eventually he'll land it at the right time. But when you're not speed tuned, it's all random, right? It's all random on whether they're going to uh, apply it or not. Also, a heal reduction, I would have loved. I would have loved if I had a heal reduction, which I don't have. And I think masteries on my apothecary would go a long way for just killing the boss. Because imagine triple hit with the giant slayer. I think it would do a lot of damage on the boss. But I just don't have... Um, well, now, now I do have the gems, but should I go for apothecary? That, that's my thinking. Should I really go for his masteries? Is that really going to help me? Am I actually going to use him on clan boss? That's what I'm thinking. But masteries on champions is not a bad investment. It gives you like a one or two million damage on clan boss. Uh, depends on the champion usually, but here you see on how slow it is because it's not tuned yet on uh, the exact point we need it. 
So here we get a speed boost. Um, Potagari went for the heal. The boss is going to attack us probably. And it is just slow like this. But let me just skip this right to probably the end and see how long this actually takes. Because I also have a mission for Arbitrate that I need to do. I need to beat Fire Knight um, so many times. It's crazy. I need to beat it 10 times on auto. And if it's 10 minutes per run for me, it's going to take me forever. But uh, let me just skip to the end, guys. I don't know what's up uh the team is just not killing it so i'm gonna exit i'm probably gonna not use mordecai good thing i didn't do a double double up and then i'm gonna use this team this is the team that uh beat it um last time i tried so let's see so guys this is like the run with uh with kale it, it takes six six minutes 30. it's all about luck basically because it's not speed tuned and my direct is extremely slow it's like 150 speed and I got a flat attack boots. Like, I don't have a plan to actually farm Fire Knight. But in order to finish this damn mission, <laughs> which I need to. I need to beat it another six times. And then I need to beat Spider 14, which I'm not sure how to do. Like, I've even finished the affinity bonus here. But, um, I mean, I gotta try. I gotta try to beat the Spider. So, today is also a big day because Forge Pass basically is, is finishing. And uh, I've done the level 50. I had to do the daily challenges every single day. This is actually you have to be on point. If you're free to play and you don't have haven't bought the, the weekly challenges, you got to be doing all your dailies because if you miss like, I believe. Four or five days, you cannot get the, the final part, which this is this is the, the whole thing with the free to play. This is where you get the possibility to craft good pieces. And here we are 15 crafts that I can do, forges that I can do free to play for the Rathalos set. I have ranks, rarity charms, and then I can do some, you know, four to five stars. <clears throat> Those are okay. But here is where it's at with the, with the five and six stars and the mythical charms. I mean, the odds of getting a mythical is extremely low, but what I'm trying to do here is I'm going to do crit rate charms. We're going to do a 10, I'm going to do all the all the forges anyway, but let's do 10. I'm not going to do singles uh, since I can. And uh, come on, give me give me a mythical that is worth it, please, please. I mean, I should have saved it for like a CVC, but that's, that's just crazy. All right. Six star gloves, mythical. There we go. There's the mythical mythical helmet also. So that is very nice. Oh, my God. That can be. It's some six stars here. Come on, please. All right, let's see. I gotta make sure my art helper is not working. Okay, resistance chest piece with crit damage and crit rate. I mean, it's not the worst, but it's not the best, obviously. Uh, I gotta remember though that the Rathalos set is it's got very good beginning bonuses. So I can just throw a one piece on somebody and give him some nice bonuses. Just that the resistance is not that great, but. We're going to have the, the reset of the Doom Tower soon, and it's going to be the Bommel boss, and um, you need high resistance for that one if you, if you want to beat it on normal. So defense gloves, flat, come on. I'm not going to sell these anyway because it's a legendary six star, but maybe I'll, I'll get a, um, a Chaos Ore. I don't know, but let's see. Crit rate roll, crit damage roll. That's what I wanted to see. Nice. Nice. Oh my god. I want to roll this and, and get something good. Crit rate, attack percent. Okay. It's a weapon. Crit rate helmet. Boots. Flat attack boots with crit rate on the substat. It's not, not good. Crit rate on the chest piece. Here. Attack. Uh, yeah. This one is actually bad, but I'm going to keep everything and, and we'll see. And then this one's accuracy, attack percent, attack. It's it's kind of bad. Out of, the, out of the 10 that I crafted, I think good thing the mythical was good, but no speed, which kind of sucks. This weapon is also good. This helmet is also okay. This helmet is also okay. This one's... It depends. Like, if I had a cold heart that was okay with her accuracy, I could use it on her. It's, it's more of an end game piece where you don't care about the, the main stat of, on, like, a cold heart. When you're just using the cold heart to get the big damage through. But eventually, you'll need to build very fast cold hearts. So, this is not realistic for a free-to-play to actually use. But anyway, um, let's do five more crafts here. Forges, not crafts. And see, 
HP. Uh, well, it's a helmet. Yeah, crit rate, crit damage. Okay, it's like the mythical one. Um, crit damage, speed. Okay, and so much gear. I'm gonna need to have a look at accuracy, HP percent. All right, at least at least it's a percentage main stat, and then two more. Give me something good, man. Crit damage on the shield could be. I mean, you could roll it, but I don't know. Crit damage on the shield, six star. Okay. We got some good things and some bad things. And yeah, it was obviously worth waiting. You know, it was worth waiting. I should have used my speed charms there. That was a mistake. That was a big mistake. But the forge, this is this is the best thing for free to play. Honestly, this is the, the best thing for free to play. You cannot go wrong with the forge as a free to play. Even as a low spender, the forge pass is huge guys it's it's just huge it's the only way to get good items without having a good account or you know knowledge of the game because you just buy it right <laughs> so it's it's the easiest way so here i just do refresh i find the the single person defense hopefully i'll be able to beat this guy uh, maybe it's like a 250 speed oof already looks like a, a strong one come on die from the poison please die from the poison no unkillable that was so close. That was so close. All right, and we jumped in back to gold five, but there's no teams to beat, so I gotta wait. And this is like a very slow way to do a, <laughs> to do my great hole farming. Like I need 800 medals, but it's it's just stupid waiting around to do refreshes every 15 minutes. It's just straight up stupid. So let, let's have a look at that mythical piece. I have a forge, uh, a four set Rathalos on my Rathalos with the lifesteal together and this is actually you know it, it it doesn't have the best attack okay but it does give me some good crit damage and the four piece bonus which is extra turn meter feel plus a little bit of speed but with these new rathalos pieces that i just got i gotta try my luck guys with with the um with the rolls so i don't have a lot of uh, silver so i'm gonna try and do the ones that I think might be worth it. So this one, defense percent, not worth it. <laughs> I think this piece, crit rate, crit damage, could be worth it. Let's level it to eight. Bad rolls, come on. I mean, uh, all right, let's 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 check this one. I, I want speed on this one, even, even if it's a flat, flat stat on the top, I want speed. Crit rate, crit damage, it's not useful. This one, I want crit rate basically here. You're looking for this high crit rate, crit rate piece from that one. And then, wow, everything else seems kind of trash. Now that I think of it, this weapon may be worth it. Maybe worth it. Crit rate there, attack percent, good. That's good. That could potentially be used by my Rathalos. Then I can replace this glove that has a crit damage uh, ascension, by the way. Um, this chest piece, though, might be impossible to replace. So this this glove might be the one I can replace. But let's see, come on. We have crit rate there. We have the crit damage. Make it, make it worth the trouble. Sh should I do, I'll do level four. And then we'll do eight. Oh, crit damage, good, okay. We do eight, come on, crit damage or crit rate? Crit damage or crit rate? Please, please, please. Yes, <laughs> crit damage, okay. Okay, uh, this is kind of stressful. All right, level 12. No, resist. It's still a great, it's still a worth it piece to get to 16. Because it, it double rolled here. This is a double roll on the top. I'll probably equip it on my Rathalos. Because already, guys, look. Even if I try to equip it now, it boosts my crit rate by almost 20%, right? I lose the lifesteal bonus, so I'll need to replace my gloves, probably. Um, not probably. Yeah, it's going to be the gloves that are going to be replaced, but these are very tanky gloves. Defense percent, HP percent work very well for many situations. Um, all right, so uh, let me check. Do I have... I also have the Rathalos weapon here. This could be potentially good. Level 12. Accuracy there. It's not that great. Okay. Let me... Go farm some silver and I'll be back so we can try and 
get that item leveled up. Actually, maybe, maybe I get lucky, right? Maybe I get lucky. How much silver is this? 30K, 24K actually, yeah. How much is this? Oh, this is all my silver. 290K and didn't even level it up. All right, right. I gotta go farm, I guess. All right, be right back, guys. All right, hopefully all of these guardian pieces are, um, well, they, they're all gonna be sold anyway. I don't really need a guardian piece at four star. But what I will do is I'll just filter like this, three stars, sell all the three stars because they're going to be bad. Look at that. 1.1 million from just guardian pieces, guys. Okay. And then on the four stars, all of these, I basically, I'm going to filter like so. And actually, now that I think of it, maybe I can use the guardian set on, on maybe like one of my clown balls, but it needs to be with a speed stop stat or something. So... Um, yeah, so, so, oh no, okay, did I, did I mess that up? Anyway, okay, um, how I filter is HP, attack, defense, I'll check on the Guardian, and basically I'll sell all of these, because it's just not worth the silver at this point, then sell all of these, and then actually what I could have done for the remaining pieces is just check them if they have speed or not, because they're four star pieces, so they have to be with a speed sub that to be worth it. They're, they're just bad. If if they're four star, they're already bad for an account such as mine, which I can now farm Dragon 20. Um, so didn't show you guys my Dragon 20 team, but it's it's a it's a solid one with, with Apothecary. So look at all these items that I'm just basically selling because they don't have a speed sub stat. You, you need it if you're running uh, the Guardian set. You need speed and tanky stats is what you need. So basically look at all these items i'm selling it's a lot of silver basically what i'm doing now it's just farming silver without actually farming it look at that hp glove defense glove i would generally advise people to to not keep the four stars but remember this account is is not even 40 days old so there's still some use out of the four stars even though even though uh, they'll be very easily replaced, especially for filling up sets. Because remember, like, my Kale is four star, mostly four star. He's got four pieces here. So, all right, how much silver was that? I don't know, but hopefully it's enough for the Rathalos helmet. Let's have a look. Is this gonna completely deplete the 2.3 million I have now? Uh, let's just click it and, and just shut up. Oh my God, how much was that? Crit damage at least, but Jesus, it didn't show, right? Didn't show the screen. Jesus, that was an expensive uh, craft. That was like 1.5 just to get it, but it's a mythical piece, so it's it's worth it. Um, okay, so what I'll do now is I'll try to run the optimizer and see what kind of set it's gonna give me as a recommended and I'll, I'll start gearing up my Rathalos and uh, see how much better stats we'll have. I don't know if you ever use this optimizer, guys. I know lots of people tried it, but they, they feel intimidated by the optimizer a lot. So you just load it up, okay? If you, especially if you're on PC, it's much easier. I don't know, I have never used it on the phone. I know there's the phone version now or the, the way to do it on your phone, but I have no idea how to do it. Um, so. What you do is click on your champion, all right? Click on, let's say, Rathalos. I'm looking at the, the build that he has right now. So click on optimize, damage, just click on stats. I want minimum 175 speed. I don't care about his accuracy. And I want him in a lifesteal set. So now it's gonna go through every single one of my champions and gear pieces that I have to try and find the best build possible. So look at that, 140 crit damage with 100 crit rate, 178 speed, 3.8, K almost attack and uh, what's the build it's a build with one piece Rathalos there it's a different attack percent chest it's a six star that I have from the sleep set and a different glove giving me crit rate is this really that much better man is this really that much better like I'll gain okay 600 attack and 11% crit damage what if I wanted also the, the Rathalos set? Yeah, this will make it very interesting here with the Rathalos. Let's do one or two. Let's do 
Um, yeah, let's see. Let's see what it's going to give me with Rathalos. Oh, is it the same build? One piece. Uh, shouldn't I be able to do two, two piece? Rathalos? Two count. Um, okay. It's weird. It's getting weird. All right. Okay. With with this, with the two piece Rathalos, so helmet Rathalos, chest piece Rathalos, basically what I have already on everybody, I'll gain 500 attack and nine crit damage. Yes, let's go and build that. All right. So, what I will do is just very simply fitting room. Always do fitting room, guys. Save your silver. Please always do that. And then we'll get the gloves from Kale. Sorry, Kale. Get the merciless. The, the Rathalos helmet, I just upgraded. Look at my stats. 99% crit rate. 142 crit damage. 184. And then the, the, the new boots of speed from poor Kale. I don't really care about Kale um, anymore. Then I replace that. And now I have... Look at this. 9% more crit damage. 200% more um more attack two, 200 attack not 200 percent 200 attack the thing is okay this build is a little bit better but should i lose the rathalos bonus mm, it's only five percent by aoe attacks he has basically one aoe attack it's not that helpful it's helpful if you can get to the six piece bonus but probably it would be, you know, much better if I just farmed for crit damage amulet right there. The four star. Look at that. Completely forgot about this. Could actually use that. Boost my stats even further. And then what am I looking at? 154 crit damage. 3356. I lose a lot of attack with this build. So much defense though. Makes him very tanky for, for clan boss. Which is worth it. But yeah, the banner gives me what? 50 more attack. Mm, not worth it, but there we go. Brand new piece on Rathalos. We got a little bit extra attack. Uh, we lost a little bit of stats on my boy here, Kale. But I'll I'll see on how I can fix him. I can definitely give him speed boots there we go and then for the gloves i have no idea what i'm gonna give him gonna try and steal from somebody else and, and see how we, how i can fix him now to be um useful for for clown balls but that's it for today guys it was a, it was a big video i know a big video um just show showcasing you guys my my thinking process and everything oh look at that some energy that's gonna be nice two epic skill books that can make this work but, um, yeah, free to play is a long, long, you know, strategic way of playing the game. It's very much different from just, just straight up buying packs. Yeah. You know, cause when you buy packs, you just expedite things cause you save a lot of time. Uh, let's say you can open up even the potion keeps. If you're that crazy, you can do lots of things, but I know, I know people who are spenders and are not even progressed all the way here to arbiter. It's just a matter of putting things in order and uh, and knowing what to do and what not to do. I'm not saying I'm playing perfectly, but uh, I've done this so many times now that some things are just um, much easier to think about in terms of strategy and, and what things to follow through, All right? Um, ooh, we got Ice Column Tournament. I hate Ice Column, but look at that. 500 coins here. This is very, very nice. Might do it. We'll see. We'll see. That's it for today, guys. Thank you all. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.